Hi guys, so I know it's been a ridiculously long time and I'm so sorry, I think it's been like around two months but um, it's just because I went on holiday um, earlier in, well at the end of June, um, which I know is ages ago, um, and then I just got out the swing of making videos and then I had loads of work to do for uni and then I've just started placement so I've been absolutely exhausted so, and I've hardly been wearing makeup apart from like just basics for nearly two months I've completely been out the swing but I'm feeling better today and I feel like today I should make a favourites video because I rarely do them but I find I don't do them every month because I'm I kind of stay the same so if I do them every few months and you guys can see some different products but there's always a few that stay in there but that's a good thing because it means I really like them so um, I'll just crack on with them with the things that aren't makeup first um, so first of all a couple of hair products this is the Tresme 24-hour body um, Amplifix hairspray and it's absolutely amazing I actually have a backup already because this one is nearly out it's just such a good hairspray for like now I have my hair in a bun I think it looks really cute. I've got a little net around it because my hair's still a little bit short. So there's a few bits that fly out, but I love wearing it like this because I've got to have my hair up for placement anyway. Um, and I like wearing it in a bun because it's cute. And I love having my hair out of my face and it's grown enough for me to do that now. Yeah, so this hairspray is incredible. It holds really well. Um, it doesn't feel too hard. I don't really use it for like if I've curled my hair as much. Actually, no, that's a lie. I do use it. It's just a really good hairspray. Um, the other product is Moroccan oil. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this loads of times. I still have about this much left. Um, absolutely brilliant oil for the ends of your hair. Nothing compares to it. It just, it literally has stopped me getting split ends. It's repaired all the split ends I had and prevented me from getting any more. It's incredible because my hair's actually really damaged and I haven't cut it yet. And the Moroccan oil is just doing an amazing job. Um, Loads of these things are quite new, so it's kind of like a haul at the same time, so I didn't want to make a haul because there, there wasn't that much stuff, but most of the stuff that I got in my haul is actually in my favourites. Um, this is the first bourgeois nail varnish I've ever tried, and it's called So Lac, as in like lacquer, I think, and it's the Ultra Shine, um, and it's in a really pretty dark red Rouge Diva number 22. Um, it's such a nice nail varnish. Their colours are incredible, I didn't realise. Uh, sorry about the short, unpainted nails. I can't have painted nails or long nails or anything. Um, it's like a relatively norm uh, wide brush. It's nothing too spectacular, as you can see. I think it's focusing on me right now. Um, but I really like it. I've got it on my toenails because that's where I can have nail varnish. And it's so pretty, really quick to dry. Um, doesn't chip, it's amazing. I did wear it on my nails for like three or four days and it was so, so good. It's normally about six pounds, which is a bit of a killer, but I got it in a deal, so I basically got it for free. Um, now onto the makeup. This always features, this is the L'Oreal Studio Secret Smoothing Resurfacing Primer. I think this is my third pot, or maybe fourth pot now. It's um, pretty much brand new, got this on the airplane. Um, so good, a brilliant primer. It's really expensive now, about £14, but I got two for 15 which is really good. Um, just uh, smooths out the surface of your skin, helps diminish the appearance of your pores. It's just really good. I, for I forgot to put it on today, but normally I'm very good with stuff like that. Um, next is a new foundation. This is L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. Um, lasting, perfecting makeup. I bought this because I was... I don't have my Estee Lauder Double Wear with me, which is an amazing staying foundation. Um, so I got this one because I needed a foundation that stayed on for my 12 and a half hours, which is my average kind of uh, shift, kind of, ugh, what am I on about? Which is the time that I am working, and I work about three to four times a week. Um, yeah, and all my makeup just like sweats off. This is good, it's not as good as Double Wear. Um, it stays on a lot longer than any of my other foundations though, so I am glad I got it for now, it's kind of saving me. Um, I got this in the colour... I got a bit of a tan again, because the sun came back out, but now it's kind of disappeared again, I'm going to have to go back to my fake tan, but this is in Natural Rose, um, one, one, two, five. I don't know why my camera isn't focusing, I think it likes the background too much. There we go. Yeah, really good, nice foundation. Next on to my concealers. I still love these Bobbi Brown um, Corrector and Creamy Concealer. The Corrector's just hit the hit pan. 
I've had it for four months, so I think that's actually pretty good. And I've got loads left. Like I've got a good, I'd say, maybe another four months or so out of this. It's a really nice concealer, and the creamy concealer is brilliant as well. I've used loads of the powder, but this one hasn't hit pan yet. Um, the powder is really nice. Really, it's just really soft and. Um, just helps stop it creasing under your eyes, but these are brilliant concealers. You can see the difference so well when you apply it, because earlier I just put it on one eye, and you can see how dark the other eye is in comparison. Um, next, I'll go to my newest bronzer. This is the deal I got with Bourjois. Um, it was two items for £11 in boots, and this is £11 anyway, and this was £6, so I basically got it for free. I saw this on Foxy Lox's, one of Foxy Lox's favourite videos, and I really wanted to try it because I love their chocolate bronzer. And this one looked a bit more fancy, I guess. This is number 12. It's called Delice de Soleil. Um, something sun. <laughs> uh, bronzing powder. There's 8 grams. It's pretty good. So the only thing is this is quite flimsy, which I don't enjoy. But I do enjoy that it has a big old mirror and I'm watching the TV in the background. <laughs> um, it's got a brush that I'm pretty sure you've never used but the powder is lovely. Can you see? There you go, you can see some slight shimmer. Nothing, like you can hardly even spot it on your skin. Nice and smooth. Oh, can you even see that? It doesn't come that well, it doesn't come out that well on your fingers, but it comes out a lot easier with a brush. It's one of those powders that it needs a brush to pick it up. But it's really good having this mirror because you can spin it around, lift it up, so it's really nice to just have this like this, and I can just do my makeup like that. Really nice bronzer. It smells of chocolate and orange. Oh, so nice. Um, now it's all stuck on my finger. Next onto my favourite blush. This is Melba by MAC. Um, it's a matte blush. I've been using this now since I bought it, so it must be about for about six months now. Um, I don't know if you can see how much I've used. To be honest, it's lasting forever, and I've used it every single day for like six months. Because it, it still has the pattern on the outside. It doesn't even feel like it's gone down that much, but it's just a really beautiful peach blush. And because it's matte, it's really uh, discreet. But, I can't really see it, but I absolutely love it. This is my favourite highlighter at the moment as well. Can, can you see my highlighter there? You should be able to. There you go. And even though it's a powder, it is really discreet at the same time. Like, it gives you a really lovely shine, but it's not like, oh, look at the pieces of glitter on her face. Um, this is Soft and Gentle by MAC. It's a mineralised skin finish. And I know loads of people have this, but I only got it pretty recently. Um, you can see that I've chopped the top off it. <laughs> I've used quite a lot, and it's so pigmented and beautiful. Just is so pretty on the skin. Like I said, it just gives it a really natural, because it's one of those ones where you can't see it when you're not in the light, and then when you are, it just shines. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, something else that I took off last night, but I do need to get the remover. I've been really enjoying this. These are individual lashes. I kept them on for about a week. I had to replace a couple. It's kind of the first time I've ever done it, but they were really good. I've got them in short, so they just look like my natural lashes but it just means that I don't have to put mascara on every day and then when I'm like sweating at work or whatever, it starts running down. So I've used quite a lot of these to be honest. Um, and this is the Ardell Lash Tight Adhesive, which is so good. I do, I would recommend getting the remover though so you don't end up fiddling around and I think I've pulled a few of my eyelashes out, not too bad though. But I really enjoyed wearing these because they were really pretty, don't have to wear any mascara with them, blended in really well, I really enjoyed that. Um, something else I bought, this is my second one, because it's my absolute favourite mascara of all time. It was only £6 down from 12 and I was like, well I have to get it, I mean, this doesn't happen ever. And this is the Bourjois Volume Fast and Perfect mascara. I'm wearing it today. And it's the one that has a motor and a switch. And it spins for you and it just makes your eyelashes look so good. Um, considering a few of mine fell out, they're still looking pretty... Pretty good. I hope you can see that. It's my favourite mascara. It stays on so well. Um, and then last but not least, yeah, this is last. Um, 
are, uh, well I bought these two but I also have another one and it's just the L'Oreal Caress, Caress I think, lipsticks. Um, I already had this one in Nude Ingenue. I know, I think I'm saying that completely wrong. Um, this is such a lovely lip colour just for completely nude, just a bit of gloss. Um, feels really moisturising and nice and glossy. Um, I don't know, I wouldn't say I prefer them to Revlon Lip Butters, I'd say that they're just very different products. And then I bought these two with the purple tops, they're really cute. Um, Tempting Lilac and Sweet Berry. Tempting Lilac I'm wearing right now with a bit of this e.l.f. natural um, matte liner thing underneath, just to help the colour come out a bit more. But it's a really pretty pink. There you go, it's that one there. It's like a pink and purple. Really glossy and moisturising. I hope you can see that. And that's really pretty. And then the other one is Sweet Berry and it's beautiful. It's basically like a dark and glossy version of your natural lips. Not really dark though. Um, so pretty. I've wanted this one for ages. I think that's making it look a lot lighter than it is. But it's such a pretty lip colour. I'm not going to put it on now because I have the other one on. But it's honestly just like a darker and glossier version of your natural lips. It's so pretty. Um, I really like these lipsticks. I only bought them because it, I think it was three for two for the L'Oreal things. So I think that's it for my favourites for July. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching. I'm going to be making, if, well, if you'd like me to, I can make another nursing video because I've started placement now so I can, I've actually got some more relevant things to talk to you about rather than just, I've got an assignment to do and blah blah blah. So, um, if you'd like me to make one of them, just ask in the down bar, and, in the down bar, in the comments, sorry. And um, I know I look a bit funky, but it's just because I've got my hair up because my hair is winding me up because I'm growing it, but it's kind of in an in-between stage. So I just chuck it up all the time. Okay, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye!